Okay, show and tell time. Chitty chat, chitty chat. Today, I got Priority Express delivered by three. Believe it or not, this is what my bangle came in. A single bangle was packed in this. <laughs> uh, you open it up and it had this, uh, this was going across here. And inside of this, I put it away already, had my uh, documentation of authenticity, etc. And then you open it up and my bangle was in here. <laughs> you think it's enough packing? material and then they sent as well a little extra gift was which which was sweet of them which was a uh, carnelian here it is my little carnelian piece so that was you know nice of them to send I do have a jade that's got this color in it um, I have to dig it out and show you. It's a smaller one. It's a small. Now I did see online today um, a jade that I do like a red. They're hard to find. Um, and it's really nice. It's really old stock from um, Japan that somebody bought up. So anyway. Um, so this was sent EMS Express, and I'm going to show you my bangle. Now, the one I ordered was it's 50, 50 mil, millimeter, mil, millimeters, MMs, in millimeters, I think it is, um, 50. And I thought it was going to be really big, but because it's so wide, it's like a tight 49. I mean, tight. <laughs> Bordering on 48. <laughs> so, here we come. Mm, here it is. Now, another reason I put it on this, for one, this hand is larger, and it, it's uh, in this heat, it swells. So, I changed my uh, lavender over here because I'm left-handed. If I put this bangle over there, see how much it sticks out compared to everything else? I would be constantly banging it when I go to write, and I don't want to be banging this thing. So let me show you how lovely that is. Totally white, um, and it's, uh, look at the carving all the way around it. It's got that beautiful carving on it. Now, I got this for a really killer price because for one, it's really difficult to fit on anybody. <laughs> they usually say this is like a girl's bracelet, a kid's a girl's young girl. <laughs> so every time I order that, they, they always go, are you sure this is gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Um, so I was looking on here, there was one, is this it? Yeah, one little place here there is one little dark spot. You can see it right there. If you can see it. It's like a nothing burger. Nobody is going to notice it. It had a couple, a little bitty uh, color in the jade there. They weren't able to totally get that out. So for that reason, <laughs> This itty bitty spot here, I got it for a killer price. So that's how reputable this company is. Um, and it's, again, nothing you're going to see anywhere. It's such a little bitty spot, you, it, it, it's difficult to find it. So anyway, yeah, no, I got it for a really good good price I gave him an offer and he took it um, because it's such a small like I said most people can't wear it and this one like I said is supposed to be a 50 but um, that fits really tight on my wrist usually a 50 will come down to here 
it will come down to here, but this is fitting like a 49, 48, 49, 49, because this is my larger hand, 49. Um, so I got really lucky on that. Sometimes you get really lucky, like I got really lucky with this piece. Um, and it is really a killer piece. If you, uh, they will show you a piece, they'll put a flashlight behind it and see if it's translucent. Now, if you hold this up to the light, this is translucent. Um, you can see, see through it and the color in this is so good. And it's a 22, 24 karat gold. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, this is my killer piece, and I actually did find it through eBay. It was somebody that had, uh, I guess, an estate thing, and they don't know Jade, and so I got this killer one. I also have a ring that I got um, when I went to the big uh, jewelry show in um, Miami. And not everybody that's there knows every stone. I got a killer um, emerald for a really good price. After I bought it, I took it over to the emerald dealers and they looked at it and they were like, that's really <laughs> nice. It's a very nice emerald. Um, so yeah, every once in a while, if you know gems, you know jewelry, <clears throat> sometimes you can actually find a really killer deal um, so that's why it pays to know them see not so many people um, not too many Caucasians know Jade they're not you know now if I went to China or Hong Kong and they, they saw this piece they would know. They would know what, what this is. But most people here, they don't know, you know. Um, anyway, so I've been very lucky. Like I said, a lot of my jade, these ones I had gotten, and this one I had gotten a um, long time ago. And they are really um, good pieces. This one as well. When you hold it up, it's very, this, this is an ice jade. Okay, these are ice jades. Um, I found them in, uh, I got them in San Francisco, Chinatown. Um, and this was before the ice jade and, and stuff was getting really popular. I always wanted water jade, ice jade. And I do have one, I have a piece about this big. It's a ch uh, child's bangle. Um, there was a guy in Los Angeles. Was it Los Angeles? No, it was Hawaii. Hawaii. It was in Hawaii that I got that piece. And he had a set, a matched set of water jade bangles for a baby. About that big. You cannot find clear water jade like that piece that I have. Cannot find it. So it's worth some money. Um, so I was just very fortunate. Like I said, it wasn't uh, really popular. Now it's getting popular, the ice jade, water jade. Back then it wasn't. Um, most of my water jade, ice jade, I have another little piece that I talked to to a Chinese guy in Seattle. He had it and I talked him out of it and he sold it to me. <laughs> yeah. And I have a, a one of the Ming Ming Jades. They're they're hard to get the Ming stuff. I got it for a pretty good price. Um, so Again, you know, if you know these things and you keep your eyes open, you can find decent pieces at a decent price. But you got to know what you're doing. Okay. So, anyway, 
Um, this one I got, this is good. These two are not good, not that good. This is like dyed. These I know are dyed. Um, I didn't pay much for them. Um, so that's okay. But anyway, I'm going to have my lunch here real quick. But I just wanted to share my mutton fat. This is like a mutton fat. And this type of jade back in the, uh, was it Qing? Well, during the emperor's dynasties. This is a nephrite, not a jadeite. This comes from China up in the mountains. And it used to be called Hotan, the area. But these were only worn by the emperors in the Forbidden City and um, maybe some of the concubines, etc. there. But the general population never had the, this type of jade. And so just because of historical value, you know, um, I wanted to have this piece of very nice nephrite mutton fat jade. Okay, nephrite. The rest of these, the rest of all of my other ones, they are all jadeite. Jadeite is stronger than nephrite. Okay, I think nephrite is something like 6.2 in the hardness and the jadeite is 7 something. Um, yeah, 7 something, the jadeite. So anyway, <laughs> I know. No, I don't like jade. <laughs> I can't, can't stand the stuff. <laughs> and, you know, I'm so sedate. I'm just, you know, <laughs> a little bitty piece here or something. That's <laughs> Yeah, no. It's kind of my thing. Jade, I'll go through the, I'll go through times where uh, for a while I'll wear all the jade, you know, for some time and then I'll switch over and go into my turquoise you know I've got a ton of the turquoise as well so sometimes I'll wear my jade and then after a while I decide oh I want to go with my turquoise um, and I, I start wearing the turquoise again it cycles you know it cycles so um, well, another thing I wanted to say real quickly if you are in the midst of kundalini awakening and you've got a kundalini going, sometimes, now you'll see sometimes I go through periods where I can wear the jewelry. I can wear a lot of jewelry right, right now. I'm having no problem. But during the kundalini journey, sometimes I could not wear jewelry. It would bind up the energy, the flow of energy. Okay. Um, it's not bothering me at all anymore, but it used to be I could not wear it. If you feel like and you've got energy going and um, you're doing energy work or you're, you know, in the midst of a Kundalini awakening and you find out it's getting bound up, okay, you might find that you cannot wear jewelry for a time. Okay. Um, so again, that's, that's something that goes along with the journey. Um, mine's been completed since 1999, and it's um, <clears throat> still for about maybe five, ten years after completion. Even then, we still you still have some energetic things going on. Okay, but uh, yeah, finally to the point where I can wear it without a problem. Anyway, so I'm going to leave this here. I need to have my lunch before it gets cold. I'll see you online. Chit-chatty, chit-chatty, chit-chatty. You know, I could chit-chatty about Jade all day. <laughs> okay. Anyway, have a great day. See you online. Be safe out there. Much love and light to everyone.